Should we use CVP in ICU? Until recently, the central venous pressure was the preferred variable to guide fluid therapy. However, the interest for CVP has declined in the last few years. First is to know, how to measure the CVP correctly? As many sources of errors may exist. Where to place the external transducer? It should be placed at a vertical distance 5 cm below the sternal angle. Which CVP value should be considered in case of passive expiration? Means, patient is paralyzed with no spontaneous breaths? In this case consider the value taken at the end of expiration. Which CVP value should be considered in case of active expiration? Means patient is taking spontaneous breaths? Here consider the value taken at the early phase of expiration. Which CVP value should be considered in case of PEEP? Here consider the transmural CVP, which is end expiratory CVP minus transmitted PEEP, to estimate the RV filling pressure. Now transmitted PEEP can be obtained after multiplying PEEP by the transmission index, where it is calculated as the following ratio, end inspiratory CVP minus end expiratory CVP, divided by, plateau pressure minus PEEP. Now that we know the correct value, let's look at the correct interpretation of the value. Can CVP predict fluid responsiveness? Definitely not. Can CVP changes during preload challenges assess preload responsiveness? No, again this is also not possible with CVP. Can CVP reflect the RV function? Yes, we can know the RV function provided the transmural value is taken into account. Can CVP help to target the optimal map? The mean perfusion pressure of each organ is the difference between mean arterial pressure and CVP. For this purpose, the measured CVP but not the transmural CVP must be considered. Here the target is, to either reduce the CVP or increase the map to improve the organ perfusion. The take-home message is, central venous pressure is a pivotal hemodynamic variable, since it provides important information on the right ventricular function and on the mean organ perfusion pressure. CVP cannot be used to predict fluid responsiveness. A prerequisite for correctly interpreting CVP is the quality of its measurement, as many sources of errors may exist. As it is recommended to insert central venous catheters in patients with shock, it would be regrettable not to use them for measuring CVP to assess at best their cardiovascular status. Thank you.